Whenever you first install Pro Tools or trash your preferences or get a new interface, and you look at your inputs on your track interface, we're using a complete audio six. You can see right now it defaults to input one slash input two dot L mono input one slash input two dot R. This is sort of hard to read. If we look at a stereo track, it makes a little more sense. So input one and input two would be stereo input three, and input four, so on and so forth. So a good thing to do, especially if you got a new interface is of course, to default the IO up here in setup IO and make sure you default everything. Sometimes that will fix these naming uh, conventions there. All right, default all that, hit OK, check it out. Now in this case, of course, it's still going to say input one slash input two dot L. We can fix that here. We can name these whatever we want, something that makes a bit more sense. So come back up here to setup IO and come here to our input. That's our inputs for our physical complete audio six, because of course, Go to setup and playback engine and make sure you have the interface selected that you want to use. Okay. So again, we have the complete audio six setup IO input tab. Let's use these drop downs right here so we can see how these are named. So input one, two would of course be stereo, but for our mono channels here, which are checked mono and mono, which of course the inputs are indeed mono. We can change these names. We can change any of the names that we want, but the left right is already named you know, pretty well. So we'll just select right here, double click in here. And in this case, I'm just going to get rid of that extra stuff. So it just says input one, come down here, I'm going to double click this and call this input two, because that makes more sense. Same thing down here. Very good. And we can do the same thing down here. Now, in this case, I want the L, but I don't want the LR. So we'll get rid of that. And same thing down here. And there we go. That looks much better. So we'll still have the names for the stereo version, but better names now for the mono versions, as you can see right here, mono, mono, left, right, so on and so forth. Okay. So click OK now. And when we come down here, here's our stereo track. It's going to look the same, but now on our mono tracks, Come down to my input. Now we can see much clearer what input we're using. Input one, input two, input three, input four, and the SPDF left, right, okay? All right, so that's how you can name your inputs here to whatever you want, and it doesn't have to be input one, input two, it can be whatever you prefer to name that, all right? Now before we go though, we should probably come up here to setup IO. And now because we have this set up the way we want, we've already defaulted the output as well previously, right? Our buses are set up correctly. Make sure all of this stuff is set up correctly for you. Once everything is set up correctly, it's a good idea to export your settings. Okay, so I'll come down here, export settings. Let me name this complete audio six, save that. So now if we ever uninstall pro tools or trash our preferences or use a different interface, then we come back in here and we default the IO or something and it gives us you know, some weird, some weird names, I'm just not going to do it now. But if it did, all you would have to do is come down here to import settings, maybe choose apply to all tabs, right? Import settings, just select in our case, the complete audio six, hit open. Hit yes. And there we go. Everything will be set up the way we had it. So that is how you can name your inputs here in Pro Tools. You can also name your outputs through the same mechanism and our buses. Again, by setup, IO, come in here. If you wanted to change the name of the output, same thing, double click in here, name it whatever you want. Same thing for the buses, save all of that stuff, export the settings, click OK, and you're good to go. And lastly, just in case you don't see the IO here in the edit window, use this drop down right here and make sure IO is checked. Otherwise, you'll have to do that from over here on the mix page. Same stuff though, all right? So that is naming your inputs and outputs for your audio interface here in Pro Tools.